Welcome back to Real House DIY. Chances are if you have a pull down kitchen sink faucet with a single sink, you've got the weight attached to this line. Sometimes you're gonna have trouble pulling this. Sometimes it'll get stuck and not retract at all. You hear a lot of the clunking from the weight. There's an easy way to fix that. I'll show you how to do it. All you need for this project is a bright light and a handful of zip ties. So this is the single kitchen sink here and we have a lot going on here. We have the huge garbage disposal, got the reverse osmosis tank and filters. Here is that hose with the weight attached. Got the line from the dishwasher and we have the drain pipe going straight back. And the way the house was built, you know, obviously 50 years ago, they didn't have these fancy pull down kitchen sink faucets with that hose hanging down. So they just had the drain pipe go straight back into the wall. So sometimes when you're pulling this up and down, it's hitting the wall, it's hitting the drain pipe, it's hitting that tank. Sometimes when it goes straight back down perfectly, it lands on the drain pipe and gets stuck there. Now the easiest solution is just get a shorter hose. They do make shorter ones. This one here gives you like 20 inches of length on the on the hose when you pull it out. No one really needs it that long. I think you can see it's already stuck when you go that far. The furthest I ever take it out, you know, we're talking like eight inches just to spray around. No need for that to go any longer. Now some kitchen faucets, this weight can be secured to a certain location, either clips on or uses screws. This one, at least from Delta, it's, it's designed just to move smoothly and freely on this. I've already tried to attach this higher up. It doesn't work. The, the weight doesn't come out quite right to make it work that way. So I've come up with a different solution. I'm just going to use some zip ties. I'm going to move the weight over to this side of the drain line where I have plenty more access. And then this part of the hose, which doesn't move, the other end is the one that goes up and down. This I'm just going to tie off with some zip ties so the weight hangs nice and loose and it won't hit anything up and down. So first what we'll do is find somewhere to attach that zip tie up behind the sink. And you see right here we have that nice 90 degree bracket with the hole in it. I'm going to attach the first zip tie to that. So I'll put that 90 degree bracket. It's solid right in the middle, but there's a hole in the very corner. So I'm just gonna get the first zip tie up behind that hole. I've got a loop with some extra zip ties attached. Tighten up that first one with the extra zip ties attached to it. So you can see you got that first zip tie looped through the back and over the top. I'll hook on these extra zip ties that are looped together and then tie that up. Now check for good location to get your next zip tie on the hose. Not too close to the top where this hose is making the connection. So right about here is about four inches down from here. I'll attach a small zip tie there. Okay, and that one you can tighten it up so it doesn't slide up and down the hose. Next, I just fit the next zip tie through this one on the hose. I'm going to take a guess of how many more zip ties I need to get that to hang over. Right about there. I think I'll need one more in the middle. So it'll be pretty good just like that. I can still tighten it up a little bit if I need to. And there's the last one on. You can see it's just 
string of zip ties. Pulls this hose nicely out of the way. Not too much strain. And then you have the weight hanging nice and freely away from the wall, away from the drain pipe. I'll give it a try just like that. So the movement is nice and smooth. It's still just barely hitting the drain pipe right there on the way up. So I'll tighten up one of the zip ties just a little bit. Pull it away from the drain pipe. That's really nice, just like that. Let's get a closer view here. Perfect. And again, you don't have too much strain on that connection right there. It is held in with that bracket to keep the connection between the two hoses straight. So check the movement at the sink. A really nice smooth movement. No more clunking. There you go, easy solution to annoying problem. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.